All right, so uh, this is a bit more building here. I actually started this video before I did it. I didn't actually finish, you know. It's a really rubbish video that I did where I was trying to build a, t a tire turret and I never actually finished it off properly on the uh, on the video I was doing before. It was just 15 minutes of me babbling around not knowing what I was doing. But this is kind of the end of that video really where I've got the turret in place. I've just bang, I'm just uh, concrete glitching a couple of uh, walls around it really just to sort of make it look like it's a bit more protected. Still not 100% happy with it but what can you do this? I was trying to work with a, um, a, a a tire which was part of the environment already there and then we tried to try to interact with it with a, with a tower gun it would just spin off into the ether just f fly off for miles try it sometime get a nice tire from the that's just hanging around in the settlement and uh, try and stick a tower uh, gun into it and they just fly away so you've got a little bit of protection there if you can see from the tire I would wish it had been a bit higher up actually in fact I could I think I've got an idea how I could have made it higher up but it's done now I can't be bothered so there you go this is Taffet and Boathouse. I'm going to give you a little walk around as well in a minute to show what I was built. It was in progress at the time. But there you see, you've got a little protection at the base. The, you've got the roof on it so people hopefully can't throw bloody grenades onto it. I might actually go and stick a bit of a, uh, chicken wire around it as well just because that stops grenades being thrown in it as well. And you can still shoot through it. So, right, so this, this is the entranceway to Taffet and Boathouse. Shut that door. I should have turned the bloody light on my bloody pit boy, but I could quit and walk around without any light on. So hopefully uh, it's not too dark. Yeah, there you go. Just a slightly different turret gun there. Could have, could do some more to it, but sorry. Anyway, yeah, this is a right rough and tumble. Like I have, to have all my settlements, they've all got holes in them. Uh, they're all messed up. That's another old turret gun I like using. I like using the old outhouse to put turret guns in. And these walls with the holes in make perfect spots to put a turret gun through. I like to patch up my fences with bits of <laughs> anything, bits of old signage, old posters and uh, paintings that are around. And that's my attempt at a bit of scaffolding in there. I'm not sure if it would actually stand up in the real world, but uh, yeah, this is game world, so sod it. <laughs> it's there and it makes a good look at post all around the Commonwealth. All three direct well, three directions. Uh, yeah, why well, don't I in the other direction as well, but never mind. Probably because there's enough protection on that side already. All right, this is me inexpertly trying to walk around and falling in the water any minute now. I decided to go for a nice little swim in the uh, in the radioactive water. Yes, good jumping. Yes, thank you, Kate. Thank you, Kate, for that enlightening words you just gave me there. All right, so uh, this is the little... Uh, boathouse kind of thing I've got some I want me water tanks in there at the moment this door's really annoying because you open it in the wrong side and you can't get past it yet. so you have to close it again go to the other side yeah there you go stupid door alright so let's have a look around what I've built so far nothing much really at the back or inside to be honest uh, some of my equipment there so I'll fill it full of equipment and give it to new settlers when they turn up and basically I've built all around the house along the I don't know what you call it the window tops I suppose you'd call it This is a couple of railway carriages which make us with bedrooms and guard posts kind of thing. So that side's pretty well protected. Got three guard posts if need be. That larger fence there stop you stop my settler on that on that uh, guard post from being sniped in the back. At least that's my look at it anyway. Oh yeah, it's another typical bloody uh, building where the wall, the ceiling is is uh, caved in and smashed up, and you can't do anything with the ceilings really unless you've got. Um, mods I've got mods on the Xbox One but this is the PS4 version I've got no mods on this at all yeah it's sunk that into the ground so that's kind of got some protection from anyone coming in that's basically the entranceway it's got two turrets protecting it so anyone wants to come in cause trouble you're going to have a hard time and of course the entrance is guarded as I say two turrets and the guard post as well although there's no one actually manning it at the moment how naughty of them but yeah, my playthrough on the PS4 is with a woman character called Gazelle, because obviously as a red-blooded woman, I wanted to play as a woman and let it up with Kate. <laughs> and any of the others, I can get my my dirty paws on. <laughs> no, I'm not being a pervert. Yeah, this is like a kind of make a makeshift like lookout post. It's not a proper guard tower. If I ever get attacked here, I can just shoot through those windows basically. Especially from that direction, because you get an uh, attack of ghouls from that direction, I believe. Right, so this is uh, yeah, this is the other side of that fence. Well, you can see I've put the turrets in. Anyone attacking from this side is doing so at their own peril with these four card uh, turrets here. And they can't, if they were able to destroy that, they shouldn't be able to climb in through here because, uh, as you can see, it's well protected. Right, then up onto the, the walkway, I suppose you'd call it. So that goes all the way around the house. 
so you can basically you can man it from any direction you need to. Yeah, protected on all sides. Don't go there then. I think you're just an anti ghoul person, you. There's nothing wrong with ghouls, apart from the feral ones. They should be shot on sight, obviously. Yeah, this one I wasn't finished at the time. I'm not quite finished in the fence all the way around. Get on with it. You stand on that ladder for an hour, you lazy bastard. Yeah, as you can say, it's bloody impossible to fix the uh, the roofs on these places without any mods. Even with mods, it's hard enough. Oh, yeah, here's the toilet. I put a door on it. And uh, this lady, uh, she gets drunk all the time. She falls out of the bath. So I pick her up by the minge and put her back in the bath. No, actually, she's dead, but you can't get rid of her. You, that's just really annoying. You can't get rid of a dead body in the settlement. And every time I take her up and throw her in the river, give her a burial in the river, she comes back next time I turn up I turn up again. So bloody annoying. Like, Beth Cedar could have done something about that. It's just... Bloody annoying is what it is. You can't get rid of dead bodies. You can't cut the grass. You can't get rid of rubbish on the floor. Grr. Anyway. Here is the scaffolding. I'm not too sure how rigid it would be in the real world, but yeah, it's hard to do the scaffolding, but it's kind of like trial and error. Keep playing with it until you get something that looks vaguely okay. Yeah, my Diamond City Radio is glitched, it doesn't actually play any music. It just talks without any music playing. There we go. I'll try and jump on the roof, you can see the roof, but all I do is land on the ground. Lucky I've got the legs armour that stops you from taking too much fall damage. Anyway, you've got a good view here, anything coming from any direction, you can stay up here and shoot the crap out of it. That's the plan. This is my pathetic attempt to jump to the roof on the other side. And that was rubbish. Never mind. Well, I think I'll go out and have a look at the walls as well. See, my walls, I don't like to, I try and play with different stuff, so I just imagine the stuff that's making the wall is all scavenged. So, you know, you'll have a bit of concrete here, you'll have a bit of barn here, a bit of bloody warehouse here. This is why I haven't finished building it yet. See, look at this. This is not... This is not a perfect wall. This is like a junk wall created. Rather than using actually junk wall tabs, I'm actually using other bits of wall and just sort of put them together, sinking them into the ground. Yeah, but it's just, it just looks good to have different different textures. And here's the entrance again. I don't know what I'm coming in here again for. We've seen these already. 